If you're like me, and you'll probably never be able to afford a camera that can produce the highest possible megapixel count out there today, then um, you may search the internet looking for images that are that massive just to see how cool they are and how massive they are. And that's all I'm doing here. I'm looking at some high resolution images. So what do I mean by high resolution images? Well, this first one here is a common resolution. This is something that a phone could produce. It wouldn't produce this kind of quality, but um, certainly megapixel count. This is a 15 megapixel image. Nothing special there. My, the camera I use, the 5D Mark III, does 22, and that's getting pretty dated now. I'll just quickly mention some common resolutions you may be familiar with. So HD television or full HD television, 1920 by 1080 is two megapixels, just over two megapixels. 4K is eight megapixels and 8K is 32 or just under 32 megapixels. That's how things compare. So as 8K is sort of coming along now, just over the horizon, really, a lot of people are using 8K at this stage, but certainly I'm not. Uh, my 5D is already too old. I mean, it just cannot compete with that kind of resolution because 8K is in the region of sort of 31, 32 megapixels. So nowhere near. It's well above the resolution of the 5D. However, it's quite commonplace for cameras being released now to have a megapixel count of about 50 or so. You know, you sort of Sony Alphas that are being uh, that are being released at the moment. They, they're, you know, they're commonly 50 megapixels or thereabouts and have been for the last couple of years now. The other images I'm looking at today are from Phase One and from Hasselblad. They're freely available to download online. I didn't take any images, any of these images myself, and hopefully they'll be okay under fair use. So first of all, let's take a look at this 15 megapixel image. So we're, we're already at 27% here. I'm actually using the original RAW files for the Phase One images, so it does take a little bit of time to kind of process those. Let's zoom into 20. Uh, sorry, 50%. So let's go into 50%. You've got plenty of detail on the image. And 100%. Lots of detail, but nothing amazing. I'm recording this in Quad HD. So if you think about it, HD is, rig is actually 1280 by 720. Full HD is 1920 by 1080. So Quad HD is 2560 by 1440. That's right. Yes. So let's move up a little bit and let's jump to a resolution that is probably out of the reach of most people and their equipment. This is a 90 megapixel image. Let's just let um, Luminar do its thing and apply the settings that are in place on this image. Right, so with a 90 megapixel image, we're talking about exporting 10884 by 8169. And this is at 11% currently. If we zoom into 25%, if you consider that we're looking at an image of um, a girl from just below her ribcage to above the top of her hair. So, you know, she's quite a distance from the camera. It's not like a really close-up image. So this is at 25%. This is at 50%. So we're still only halfway in. And look at the detail you can see around her lips and around the skin and the makeup and the eyes. Absolutely amazing. Let's jump right into the original full resolution of the picture. I mean, little bits out of focus here. We've really got the focus bang on the face. And once we drop behind, it's fairly narrow depth of field. But the detail in the eyes is amazing. Really good. And the skin here. Just look at the, <laughs> look at the detail. Every imperfection shows up. This tiny little bit of makeup here, I think, that's uh, just not quite being applied correctly. Not quite, isn't, isn't quite perfectly in place. Absolutely amazing. So that's a 90 megapixel image. So let's now jump to 150 megapixels. Slightly different shot here, so I can't really compare. We're not really comparing sort of apples for apples, but that's just because I haven't got that many shots that contain this much information. Okay, and now we have a properly adjusted image. And I want to draw your attention to the menu here. Just take a look at this menu because that's what I'm going to zoom in on and that's what I'm going to be showing how much detail is actually resolved. If you consider how zoomed out we are on this shot, we're right across the port, right across the harbour, the other side. Um, it's a fairly long exposure picture by the look of things. So you've got people sort of moving around in it and we're at 11% at the moment on a 150 megapixel image. So let's just zoom in to here 
and that's at 25 percent now let's zoom in to 50 percent we're starting to get a little bit closer to that menu and now let's zoom in to 100 percent and you can actually read the text on that menu if we zoom in even further i'm going to go in even further let's say to 300 percent on here and yes of course it's starting to pixelate now but the point is that we can read the monthly menu half of lobster and uh, you know grilled beef there you can actually read this menu and if we zoom right out to the fit to screen if you look at how tiny that menu is on the picture you just imagine this on instagram or something like that well it does sort of highlight the point that you don't really need this kind of megapixel count for general work it's quite specialist i think <laughs> it's just amazing the amount of, amount of detail that's on there and finally i want to take a look at this image this is from hasselblad and this is taken by oh i've forgotten the model of the camera now but it's a hundred megapixel camera uh, the sensor is a hundred megapixels but it takes a number of different a number of shots and puts together a 400 megapixel image and that's what this is it's a 400 megapixel image so exporting out we're talking about 23200 by 17400 pixels absolutely enormous and we have a picture of a box okay not amazing but there's a lot of detail in here and uh, even though it doesn't fill the frame by any means, we're only at 7% here. So I'm going to now zoom into 25%. And you can get an idea of the kind of detail in this picture. Just look around and you can see the textures on the box. This is at 25%. Uh, let's go into 50. Amazing. And now on this badge, let's zoom in right to 100%. Every tiny little defect you can see. It's just stunning, the image quality here. Well, not, maybe not so much the image quality. I'm sure the image quality is amazing because it's Hasselblad and everything. But um, just it's just mind-boggling how much detail there is in that. Absolutely fantastic. So if you wanted... To say right okay i i need a image that's just this badge and you wanted to do a crop of um, of just that image of, of just this badge the great thing with having that kind of megapixel count is that um you know even when you just so let's just zoom in like this say right there we go that's that's good enough we just it just got an image of the badge now let's see how big that is we're still talking about an image that's four thousand by three thousand pixels even though we've zoomed in from that you know, from, from the box to uh, to this tiny badge here. So absolutely incredible. Let's just have a very quick look at the camera here. Or whatever this is. I assume it's a camera. Seeing as it's Hasselblad, it looks more like a rocket launcher. But uh, there it is at 7%. Another 400 megapixel image. Let's go straight into 100% and look at the detail. You know, these are pictures that are taken of, of, of objects from reasonably far away. What, what I'd love to see is something that's really close up. So a macro shot uh, where the, the bit you're interested in takes up most of the frame. And can you imagine the amount of detail you would have in that then? If you managed to get a sh with a macro lens, the shot of an insect that took up like this much of a frame in a 400 megapixel image. Just absolutely, just incredible. Anyway, there we go. I hope you found that vaguely interesting. Not sure you why you would, but um, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.